Okay, this video right here has to do with basic Excel. And we're going to be working with a series or creating a series. And we're also going to be using the fill handle to create a series. Now, a few things before we get going. When you first look at a spreadsheet, and as a rule, a spreadsheet is holding numbers. It allows you to manipulate numbers. But when you first open up a spreadsheet, what you see is a series of columns running across. All the columns are lettered. For instance, this first column is column A, B, and C. Also what you see is a group of rows, and all the rows are numbered starting at row 1, 2, all the way down to the end. It would actually, in Excel 2007, you can hold as many as a million rows of data. So we have columns and rows. The next thought is this idea of where do you store information? And using any type of spreadsheet, you store information within a cell. And what a cell is, is the intersection of a column and a row. Where my cursor is right now is in cell B1. Column B, row 1. If I move it over to this point right here, I'm still in column B, but now I'm in row 3. Moving over to here. I'm in column C, row 1. Now, one way of, another way of looking at where these cells are located is that you can always go right over here in this spot right here, and it will actually tell you where your, where your cursor is positioned. Move over to here, you can see it's now in A1. Move over here, you can see that your cursor is in cell B6. Now once again, like a cell, intersection of a column and a row, and in each cell you have the ability to store information, and the information can be a text, it can be a date, it can be numbers, it can even be pictures. For the most part, when you're talking about a spreadsheet, many times the cells have numbers in them and you want to manipulate those numbers or perform some type of mathematical equation on them. Another thing I want to quickly show you is this idea of when you first open up Excel is that you see down here at the bottom you have three sheets listed. Sheet 1, Sheet 2, Sheet 3. That is the default. When you first open up Excel, as a rule, it's going to be set to open up three sheets that you can possibly work on. Now, the whole thing is, is that you're not limited to just three sheets. It's very easy to add additional sheets. By just coming over to this icon here, and if you move your mouse over it, it will tell you. You can insert a worksheet by just left clicking on it. You have sheet 4 and you have sheet 5. So we have now five sheets. It's very easy to name the sheets just by quickly double left clicking them. It now becomes highlighted and I can call this Q1 maybe for quarter 1. Come over here quickly double left click it, Q2. You can also hover over the sheet and right click and rename it. Still another way of naming the sheet. We'll call this one Q3. For this one here, you can right click, rename. We'll call this one 
Q4. In the final sheet, once again, if you quickly double left click it, if that's how you want to change the name, that's fine. It's highlighted, and we'll call this a uh, summary. Move my cursor up here, and as you can see, right now I'm in cell A2. It's listed right here. But I want to move up right to the beginning here, and in the beginning, Right now, my cursor is in cell A1. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put in today's date. Today's date happens to be 5 26 slash 11. May 26, 2011. Hit enter. Now, I'm going to show you a very important concept. I hit enter, and now I want to go back to that cell. It's highlighted. And if you come over here, there's a little fill handle. There's a little box in the lower right-hand corner. If you move your mouse and hover right over it, when you got the plus sign, right here, a plus sign, it means that you're over the fill handle and you can now hold down the left mouse and drag down. I'm going to go all the way to row 14 and release. And what you see is that Excel has guessed the pattern that you were looking for. Excel guessed that you wanted to increase the date by one day. Once again, I typed in 5 slash 2 six slash 11. Hit enter. I went back to that cell and I found that fill handle. And sometimes it takes a little bit of practice. Move your mouse over to the lower right hand corner. Once when you got that plus sign, hold down the left mouse, continue to hold it down, and drag it down to whatever point, wherever you want to stop. We have all these dates where Excel has made a guess. It's made a guess in terms of where you want to go with it. It's increased each date by one day. Now, if we come into cell D1, that's where I'm at right here, cell D1, what I want to do next is that today's date is 526, but it happens to be Thursday. So I'm going to type in Thursday here. Hit enter. And once again, I'm going to go back to my spot click on the cell, go to the lower right hand corner, hover over that fill handle so I have a plus sign. Hold down the left mouse and drag it down. What we have here all of a sudden is really actually a calendar. But Excel has guessed the pattern. It is filled in the series. Still on that same topic, I'm going to go into cell F1. I'm going to type in January. Click on the cell, and once again, go to the fill handle, lower right hand corner hover over it and make sure I have the plus sign hold down the left mouse and drag it down and Excel has guessed what that pattern would be I could also go this way click on the cell have my fill handle and drag it across so it's copying the pattern.
once again, this is a way of saving tremendous amount of time. Instead of having to type in all these entries, we can have Excel guess at what the pattern is. Have Excel guess at what the series is that you want to create. I want to get rid of this information right here. And I mean, one way of doing that is by highlighting it. Right click, clear contents. It's now all gone. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go into cell F1 and I'm going to type in the number 1. Go back to that spot, find my fill handle. I have a plus sign, drag it all the way down. Now what Excel has done is it's made a, a guess in terms of what you wanted to do. It did create a series, but basically it copied that number one all the way down. Now in actuality, I would have liked to have each number increasing by one. So what you can do is that there's a small little box right here and if you hover over it it's going to say autofill options go over to the down arrow and you can see what Excel guessed it guessed that you wanted to just copy all those ones all the way down however I wanted the numbers to increase by one I wanted to create a series so all I have to do is go over here, click within that radial button, fill series, fill series. And what's happened is that Excel has increased each number by one. Once again, it's a quick and easy way to save a tremendous amount of time. If I go into cell H1 and once again I'm in cell H1 and what, what I'm going to do right here is once again create another series and I'm going to try to save myself a lot of typing I'm going to type in in H1 product 1 hit enter come back to that point find my fill handle I have my plus sign drag it all the way down and what we're going to see there is that Excel has created a whole group of products one two three four and it's typed it all in for me which is a tremendous time saver and once again that's a quick video on Excel basics having to do with series and also the fill handle. Thank you.